I will fight with honor. Victory or death! Let's see, what do I want to keep against a paladin? I don't think the hand really matters that much against paladin, but I would probably try to keep Ravaging Ghoul and Fiery War Axe. The only question I have is whether or not I want to keep Slim. I'll toss it all. Yeah, I would keep the Acolyte of Fame also. I hope you're ready to tank up. Now if he is uh, anything can happen, it's possible that I can gain enough armor such that anything does not happen. With the Doomsayer, it's probably going to be the Anything Can Happen deck, which seems to be the more the most popular version of the Paladin out there right now. The end is coming. Wow, I was actually going to just let that first one go. All right, he really wants it. Our new card, Ironforge Portal. Job's done. I, know who you are. I believe a 4 drop is on average going to be something like a 3-4, but usually with a beneficial uh, tag of some sort. That's naturally one of the weaker I ones, but I don't think you expect that much from for duty. the Ironforge Portal. It's just a nice minion plus armor. I kind of think it would be a riot to put Yogg into this deck. Especially with the portals. 2 execute, 2 shield slam, 2 revenge, 2 slam, 2 bash, that's 10. 2 block, 2 brawl, 2 portal, that's 16. And this deck usually plays from behind. I think that'd be amusing. But for now, I will play it according to uh, Fibonacci's specifications. I'm gonna do it very scientifically, play 10 games with it. Alright, so I know that the big removal is not as important against this deck. I think I go Shield Slam, Ravaging, Execute. The less uh, health I lose, the more likely I'm going to be to survive. And also, just pressing the button each turn is pretty good. Amusingly, if I had actually done it in the other order, Ravaging Ghoul into... Oh no, that would still work. Ravaging Ghoul, Execute, Shield Slam would work. But what wouldn't work is Ravaging Ghoul, Shield Slam, Execute. As then the War Leader would go back to 3 health, and that would be full health. And that would make... for... hilarity and or sadness. Yeah, my favorite card in this matchup. So I wonder if Alex Straza on his face is going to have any effect. Probably should only play the Alex Straza when I feel like I'm about to win, because the opponent will just heal shortly after. Possibly could consider Alex Straza on myself to stabilize after he does enough damage. I probably should have kept at least one big removal for the big Ragnaros card. Mm, slight oversight, not having one. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. Or I guess I should say major oversight. Follow the rules. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll just play Alex Straza and maybe Alex Straza will uh, take out the rack. Excellent. Or how? Just what I needed. This is one of those cards that allows you to actually come back. Oh, created by Ivory Knight. Oh, the sadness. You should also not have played the one from Ivory Knight, so I wouldn't know if that three were to come. If he had another anything in hand. Now he actually resurrected only ones that, that don't charge, which could be a slight problem for him. Wow. Reporting for duty. So four war leaders and two uh, blue guild warriors will come back. Uh, that means each of these guys is plus uh, in this ten attack. So the second any fin will be twenty attack. Although. He only gets 10 out of it here. So that means the third anything will either be... Uh, let's see... If he gets an extra war leader, then that's 24 attack. If he gets another blue guild warrior, then that's uh, an extra 10 attack. So it's either 30 or it's 24. Hmm, I think I want to play Alex here. I go there, I go down to uh... Go down to 10, but I go up to... 16. Might draw on equality. Equality which is necessary for Nizoth. So it's a race uh, for me to gain enough armor before he gets his third anything can happen. And anything can happen, getting three of those only occurs about a... Um, I think I did the calculations like getting one anything can happen off of two ivory knights about like 20% I believe. If I play the Nizoth at a key time, he can't play anything, but it's very difficult to predict when he'll play, uh, when he'll draw the anything. Follow the rules. It is possible he gets six war leaders and one blue guild warrior, uh, which will make the blue guild warrior only deal 14 damage. That'd be pretty unlucky for him. 
I have no time for games. I played mine first, so I steal and then he steals. My safe spot is 31 health. This off is also potentially a win condition, especially since I have so many death rattles. If I play Nazoth, he cannot win the next turn. And I'll take his Sylvanas. I was wanting to play Nazoth so that if he drew it, he couldn't win, but I guess stealing his Sylvanas is better. And then just taking the chance one turn. And then if I survive this turn, pretty much always win. He only has a 1 in 8 chance of drawing it. And also, he needs to get exactly all three of the war leaders. I mean, exactly all three of the blue guild warriors. Why do I seem to remember there being... I feel like my count is off. Anyways, looks good. I think armor up is actually better here because... No, I don't have a reason for that. I mean, I want to avoid equality plus clear, but I guess that's not really avoidable. Well, then again... Well, here's the thing. If he plays anything, how do I recover from that? I mean, two infested Torn, Cairn, and Sylvanas. It's kind of a race, so I shouldn't hit the 1-1. One, one. I don't believe the 1-1 one, one actually matters here at all. No, it matters a little bit. I'll save a 2-2. Two, two because he'll clear this, uh, using something else. So I'm gonna get cleared here, but I will have a 2-2, two, a two, uh, 4 5 and a 2-2 two, two left over. If he uses the Consecration, uh, I'll go down to 25, I'll go up to 29, and I'll go up to 32. So he definitely has anything now, however anything can only do a maximum of 30 damage. But the problem is coming back after the anything. Uh, looks like I need the brawl. 25. So I actually have to bash here. And then I have to draw a brawl, I think. I could also slam and then draw Brawl off of that. Put your faith in the light. Oh, yeah, Tyrion. That's a problem. And although, if Tyrion's on the board, maybe the DPS from Tyrion isn't enough to overcome the other... Let's see, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 10. I'm gonna try this path. He's only dealing an additional uh, 3 DPS each turn. So either he plays anything and tries to finish it faster, and then I get my Brawl, which hopefully deals with uh, Tyrion, and fortunately he nixed a bit of damage because the Silverhand Recruit is in the way. There it is. What the? Astonishing.
I'm full out. Well, he got like three any fins and Uranazoth. That is like a nightmare matchup.